In certain applications, a bias cut belt will allow for the smooth operation of a light duty conveyor belt. Keep in mind that when doing a bias cut to a belt, there will be belt loss. The diagonal cut and its accuracy will help to minimize this loss. In this example, we will be performing a 7 degree bias cut. Depending on your application, you may select a particular bias that best suits your need. In this example, we will be performing a 7 degree bias cut. The correct dimension for a 7 degree bias cut on a 24 inch wide belt is 3 inches. Measure 3 inches from the end of the 24 inch belt. Draw a connecting line from the 3 inch mark to the opposing end of the 90 degree line. Use that line to cut your belt with a Flexco 845LD belt cutter or cutter of your choice. Using a measuring tape, place marks two inches apart from the cutting line, running parallel. Trace those marks to form an offset line alongside your cutting line. This will help align the belt and the cutter correctly. Prior to cutting the belt, make sure your cutter is set up properly. With the cutter blade located opposite to the belt, insert the belt in the cutter and align the end of the offset line with the corner of the cutter. Securely clamp the belt and operate the handle to cut the belt. After cutting, proceed with lacing the belt. With the belt on a solid surface, measure the length of the belt to be laced and remove any excess hooks. At this point, the lacer is ready to receive the strip of carded hooks. Insert the hooks into the first active slot. This slot can be identified because it is located immediately after the face strip notch. Insert the lacer pin to secure the hooks in place. Remove the carding paper using the proper removal tool. At this point, the hooks are ready to accept the belt. Pull up the gold class support shelf and proceed to feed the belt through the opposite opening of the lacer. Guide the belt through the clamps and position into the hooks, making sure the end of the belt is centered and flush against the face strip. Before lacing, secure the belt by firmly clamping the handles in place. Position the rollers over the hooks and turn the adjusting knob one to one and a half additional turns counterclockwise. This will prepare the rollers for the first pass of setting the fasteners. Using the handles, move the roller head across the belt. Return the head across the belt width and repeat the process until the hook legs are embedded in the belt. Remove the lacer pin and release the belt from the belt clamps to inspect your splice. Notch the leading and trailing edge of the splice to complete installation of the lacing.